Of course they were right. If I'm from the city, I'm born MP, I'm born ownership, and I'm born myself for sticking with this huh. terrible franchise. Who I really feel sorry for, like honestly, is Carl. <laughs> <laughs> All these NBA right. players. You stuck with that clown? I mean, really. Leela, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, oh. wow. MP's a terrible pick. It's my turn! It is, you told me it was my turn. It's my turn. And let's go! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm still here. Oh, what did I tell you? Stop playing with me. Don't you Stop playing with me. Oh, gee. Ash, not one chair? I don't do chairs. So what about your guests? Are we always gonna stand, stare at you? Guests? No. Did you come in here to drag me from my office decor or do you want to prep for Top Takes Daily? Let's prep. Great, all right. Yeah. So obviously what Shep said was beyond the pale, uh, but you've already don't. been memed to death on social media, so it's not like it's going anywhere You know what, Ash, the more and more soon. I think about Shep right now, the angry I'm getting, so I'd rather not talk about this. Okay, be that as it may, you will have to talk about it. And Mila? you can't you spoke about lose Mila on your TV? cool on national television. I don't care about TV. That is not cool. I'm sorry. Do you think that this is a prestige TV show? They're going to ask you about it. You're going to talk about it. And you're going to get your emotions in check. Do you understand? That was not acceptable. Sure. Tell that to him when you see him in person. Oh, I will. But when you talk about it on TV, because believe me, you will have to talk about it on TV. You need to keep an even keel. You can say that the comment was unacceptable. You, you can even call him trash if you want. But isn't I don't that care. basically losing my cool again? Not if it's true, okay? The main thing is you need to keep your cool so that it doesn't look like you're about to attack Kendrick Perkins for bringing it up on television. That's gonna make you look weak. Okay. I can get with that. You could also, you could play the disappointed parent card, right? Oh, I, I expected more from my fellow man, the envy is a brotherhood. Blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High road or low road, right? No, kind of they're both the high road. Both the high road, just different flavors. But the key is you gotta be authentic, all right? You need to be you. You just need to be the calmest, most mature version of yourself possible. Yeah, that's kind of yeah? like when I was in college. It kind of reminds me of that mm -mm. time. When... No, no, I don't have time to go on a trip down memory lane. Do you have anything else to say about Talk Takes Daily? No. I have no more questions. Excellent. I'll see you at the studio. I'm going to meet you there. I need to lay some ground rules with the showrunner. I also want to be there in case anything crops up last minute. Does that sound good? Sounds like a plan. Again, thank you for your advice. Thank mm -hmm. you for... Get some chairs in here next time. Engage your core. Sit on the yellow ball. Wouldn't hurt. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? I am back, 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 ready to go. Um, we are back with another episode of the My Career Series with MP, a.k.a. Mr. JQ. And let's go ahead and get right into this game. Y'all seen the cutscenes? This boy is talking wild, reckless out of his neck. But don't worry about that, you know. He gonna be gone because I'm gonna be the problem solver. So like I said, I'm gonna handle you, Shep. But I gotta focus on this game because we are playing the Atlanta Hawks. Jumping y'all right to when I came off the bench. Yes, still being that six man. But don't worry, that spot is coming. You know, I'm trying to make me and Lamelo a tandem like how me and Ja were. We just need to go ahead and do what we do. Uh, coming straight in and scoring. Let's get it. You know. Atlanta Hawks are somebody that we cannot take lightly, especially in the East, because they got Murray and they got Trey Young out here. We all know Trey Young gets in his bag. He is not safe from anywhere past half court, so that means you got to play him, and he is very, very shifty. Do not let the hype fool you. John Collins out here rocking it. Another person I like a lot, and he is just underrated, athletic freak out here. But uh, getting to this quarter, everything going good. Uh, I know coach want me to come off the bench and kind of be like the little spark plug, get everything started. Man, it's just getting into the adjustment phase. I won't lie, you know, that Shep comment kind of got me in my got me in my ugh, feelings right now because you don't talk about mine, you know. Now I'm not sitting there saying I wanted this Wonder Bread type woman that they gave me. I would have loved me a Gabrielle Union. You know, I would have loved me a Monica Rambeau, a Sanaya Lathan, anything that – Magic Melon and Queens, but you know, I got picked with some mayo, so I gotta do what they tell me. But beside the fact that I got uh, toted with the bird shit complexion of women, I'm still going to rep mine, so that's okay. We're gonna worry. You don't talk about my old lady, fool. 
So we're going to handle that. So like I said, first quarter getting through, just trying to really get myself into the groove of how I want to play. <sighs> Melo doing what he do, throwing turnovers. That's what happened, y'all, if I'm not in control of the rock. Things don't go how they're supposed to go. So um, getting through this first quarter, basically we just want to try to maintain that lead. Make, because these are high flyers. This is a fast, young, elusive team. And oh, shit. Here we go again. Let's just jump right to the second quarter, man. Not a lot went down in that first quarter. Yes, we. I don't know if we lived up to the moment. I know myself personally. I am not playing the way my coach wants me to play. I'm telling y'all, man, this Shep stuff is really, really going to mess your boy up. And I just got to make sure that I can separate that stuff from the game and got it you know when little stuff happens you got to be able to separate the emotions from the work because you can't bring that stuff with you uh getting to the line letting them know what it is what it ain't you know what i'm saying they ain't about to be playing with me like that i'm a problem solver like i said boom give me that first one it's something about free throws though um i cannot get the second one and the second one's supposed to be easy but you gotta come in did not really help mellow out that first quarter be this dynamic trey young got my dumb ass okay like I told y'all, Trey is very, very shifty. You cannot leave him open for the slightest. Yes, so Trey at the line. But don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and get mine. Shout out to that man, Hoodie Sean. And I'll be throwing it to the wrong person way across court. Back on Trey. Got lucky that first time. Don't worry about it. I'm here. Hand down, man down. Let's get back out here. And just showing people, like, what's really the business. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't really did anything up until this point yet, but don't worry. I just feel like I just feel like it's coming, you know, and I just feel like, you know, all I need is that one opening to the rim and up. Man, come on, huh? Oh shit. Here we go again. Exactly. So we got this man for that. Hitting threes is just as we about to get from the comeback. I only put up four points in the uh, whole first quarter, but I came through coming off the bench two minutes left. Already got five, trying to make sure I can sit there and keep putting on this type of performance because this is basically the role of a six man. This is like what your job is right here. And oh, come on now, catching a body. Um, stop playing with me. Come on now. I keep trying to say this, bro. Like, don't, don't do this because when I spark plug on your ass. It's on, you know, coming straight off the bench, seven points, not showing any remorse for anybody at the rim, trying to get everybody involved to be like, yo, we not down by that much. Let's go ahead and keep playing. You know, Melo, I need you, but like the team goes as we go. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're not out there doing what you do, we're not going to be able to do what we do. So Melo set me the screen right here. What you want to do? Uh, Okay. Yakum, let's go. Let's let's it starts with us, Melo. It starts with us. Nothing more, nothing less. It starts with us. So we gotta make sure that we are out here setting the stage and the standard for the team because the team goes as we go. Right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming off the bench trying to show coach like, hey, we was down by I think eight or so. Now we down by two. Clearly I asked for too much because Trey is still out here eating them. But that don't matter because, like I told you, when you give me that line to the basket, I <laughs> oh yeah, I'm still here. Yes, sir. Like I said, I'm a problem out here. All I needed was that little chance. Got the piece of the steal, or whatever. I don't know if they want to give me that steal or what. Came back off the bench. Nine points into the second quarter. We are going into half down by two. Let's get it for this second half. Let's show them what we about. Everybody, let's do this. Come on. Back to the second half. Yes, sir. He got me starting because I had my takeover. I know it probably sounds a lot more better at this back half of the video. Um, starting off with a steal. Yes, sir. Like I was saying about the video, uh, Mike was messing up, so I had to go ahead and fix it. Shoot, I even turned it down some because it sounded loud to me. But let's get the second half started. We just got the game. Well, let me say not we. Me. Just got the game tied back up off a of steal. Starting it back off good. Y'all see me? I had a solid second quarter, slow first quarter. Um, put up about eight points. Already got two for this one. And like I said, y'all, it's just when you're playing the Hawks, man, you got to be ready to go. Uh, LaMelo. Ah, uh, come on, Melo. I just said you got to be ready to go. Did you not get your Gatorade? Come on, get some of that LaVar water. Anyways, back to everything. We got to make sure that we handle everything, handle all of our business. Got it through. Trey, still. God. Damn. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. Man, Amanda, miss. Lord. Somebody sent me the pick. 
No, no, no. I got it. Uh, right there. Freak. Man, I was trying to be a little passive vision. Guess my vision was on Mr. Magoo right there because I definitely gave that ball away. Don't matter, though. Three-point game, and I still have confidence in our team to pull it through. Trey, oh, my God. Even I can't block this, man. It's just so shifty, and it's funny just how it translates to the game, but that don't mean nothing. You ain't about to get no compliments from me too much long because you the opposition. Swing it through. Yaga. Bang. Let's go. Nice little dime right there. Uh, Letting people know that I'm a force, so pay attention. Let's go. Back on defense. John Collins ain't doing shit because I got him. Sit that. Are you? Who? Boy, how do I not get that block on Trey? That's what I be saying. Like, when I say, like, it don't matter who guard him the size because he's still going to get it. And, oh, yak him. Hey. Free throw time. Shout out Hoodie Sean with the beat. Hey. You know what it's like, y'all. About the free throw line. You know what I'm about to do. You shouldn't have sent me that because you already know. And one on they ass. Let's go, ref. Give it to me. Hit the rip, Hamilton. And ah, shaking them shoulders. Hey. Man. I really don't have no uh shimmy shake for KD, but man, I love that song. Shout out to Hoodie Sean. Um, this is his. I got that from him, so that is not no JQ original. But man, every time I go to the line, man, shoot, I might have to put the KD one on just so I'm being authentic to the track, so I can shake them shoulders. Uh, challenge to play. Don't think I'm gonna get it. Y'all look at this. Come on now, how was that a foul? Still end up losing it. Don't matter. Fourth quarter action now. Starting this fourth quarter, let's go ahead and get it. We down by a little bit. And the only best way to do that is going up. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Bang, ready. bang on their heads, man. Yeah. Bang, bang on their heads. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we got to come up out here and do it. Let's go. Quick little alley-oop to spark the team, and let's just get this fourth quarter rolling. We are down by four, and we need something to do. And, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Soon as I say that, John Collins come and bang, bang, and put one up on our head. That's fine. All right. Set the screen. Got Trey. Got, God damn it. Woo. All right. Coming through. We still need something to go down. Uh. Ain't nobody going to get open. All right. That's cool. Give it back. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come on now. Stop playing with me. Getting it back up. We got an 11-point uh, lead right now. Got two minutes left. All we got to do is just hold them and maintain them. I just got to make sure I don't do nothing stupid to get them some type of lead because, you know, all it takes is a couple threes, and they can be right back in it. Melo locking his ass down. <sighs> Never mind. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Trey, what I tell you, boy? Sit your ass down. See, that's that bullshit I'm talking about. It's no way he got that shot up over me. It don't matter. Because I sat him down. Come on, now. Stop playing with me, Trey. Stop playing with me, Trey. Come on, now. Where you at, Mello? Oh, my gosh. All you had to do was drive to the basket. Come on, now. I have some IQ out here. Because you're playing like boo-boo. I got to stop helping. It's going to be the death of me. It went from a... 12 point, 11 point game to a six point game that quick is, which is why I said you got to sit there and just stay home. And as y'all can see, it would really help if I could get a damn off ball screen was put your chest in it. Little ass boy. Dang. Put your chest in it. Dang. Every time I'm trying to sit out here and get a screen, I can't because you're out here putting your bird chest into it. Put your man chest into it. Come on, Plumley. Thank you. They about to follow us all the way down. We just need two. That's all that is. Let's go ahead and bring it home, man. Oh, my God. White man can jump, but white man can't shoot free throws. Mm. Mello, get your ass up here and shoot this free throw. Oh, 
Good job. That's one. Good job. That's two. That's all we needed right there. That's all we really needed right there. This should be enough to close us home and get us to the win. Gave up another three, five point game. Pulled out the game. Doesn't really matter. Game's over. 108.99 final score. Good job, team. Good job, team. Um, hey, man, we played a hell of a game, man. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not upset. Came off the bench, gave a good 26, 5 and 5, I think. 4 and 5, 1 and 2, 2 steals, a block. Yo, everything went good for us today. I had my mindset locked in. Start off a little slow, let some off the court stuff bother me, but that is okay. I'm about to go in my locker room real quick, answer some of these questions, as y'all can see from the press, and then y'all about to see the moment y'all been waiting for. Yes, I'm about to address that boy. So stay tuned and watch this. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, just follow my video. Three, four, three. And welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me on. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life? That just comes with the territory, you know? Like, we make a lot of money, and it's all because of those passionate fans out there. Night in and night out, coming into the games and showing their support. It's because of them, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want, but it don't matter to me. I, I, I mean, are we serious right now? Listen, <laughs> MP, <laughs> with all due respect, do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run, people will come around and uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game, you know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job, you know. So I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. Wow. I mean, all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> it's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. But Some would. You don't think, come on now. Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know, 
honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put. Simply put. Not like I do, at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line. You can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever. But those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Shep Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? Yo, honestly, that's just who he is. He's a trash human being who has no class. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, no that's, class. that's all I'm going to say. We got real beef. Let's make some hamburgers. <laughs> uh, Tell him how you really feel, young blood. Am I wrong? Doing what he did, he should be embarrassed, but he's not because he has no self-awareness to know when he's gone too far. Mm. Like, that was too far. Yeah. I mean, like, fam, you could win, you could debate who won the world words, but you're not going to debate this big fat L that I'm about to give him for the whole world to see. And I'm going to make sure next time I see him, he's going to know. He gonna know what's up. MP, what? you may not be an explosive leaper, but those some explosive words. I respect the confidence, if nothing else. Sure, whatever. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining. Like I told y'all, I was gonna drop one yeah, for him. Already know what's going down. I told Shep, stop playing with me, stop playing with my name. Boy, you don't know me like that. I slapped the shit out you, boy. But I'm going to keep it calm because it's a children's show. So make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I'll be dropping another one if y'all like this one. And keep letting me know right in the comments. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Oh, gee.